What's up, everybody? Charles Macro here today, jumping back in the fishing planet. Today, we streaming, but we're also coming from one of our new lakes. Uh, I've been leveling up, and I am here at Weeping Willow Fisheries. This is a very big lake, a lot of spots for you to catch carp, a lot of the heavier fish. So I'm here trying to find the spots. I'm doing different missions. Really just checking it out, seeing if we can figure it out. And then I'm going to bring you guys some videos for the carp and for the whales catfish. Uh, that's what I'm doing today here. One of the missions they have is the exploration mission. I imagine it'll bring out a second one. You catch these European perch, uh, these different carp tench. And um, I actually haven't done any of these yet. So we'll try to do that today on the stream. I may also go for the uh, weeping willow stomach ground bait to get this monster. But we got to catch some uniques. Now, I already caught a unique common carp, so we got to catch these other uniques. So if we catch them along the way, we will do that. All right. So, yeah, just wanted to show you all that, show you what I'm working with here. I did buy a, a carp ride, the Deep Horizon. That's my first one. I was going to buy two, but it was basically like 150K, somewhere around it. It was like 70 for the ride, and you got the reel, and you still got to get line, weights, leaders, hooks. So we'll say... 120, 130, pushing 150. I'm also using my heavy chaser. Uh, these are bottom rides. So these bottom rides, they're about 50 pounds. You should be good with most of the carps you're going to catch here. And then um, I have my my match rides. I hadn't really caught anything with these, but I figured we could use those for some of those side fish, some of those exploration fish. Maybe we'll catch a carp or two with them. We'll try it. But deep rides, feeder rides, carp rides are the best rides for that. All right, and then I brought my spins just in case because there are some pike here as well. So trying to target these pike, I brought my spin rides with us. The shop still has a few things you can get. I haven't tried out these um uh these different types of uh, uh hold on let me make sure I'm I'm saying it properly. When you make these recipes uh for the attractants for the carp, I haven't tried any of those yet your different pellets, uh, your different ground baits. So we might experiment with that. You guys can help me with that as well because I know a lot of people who fish there are familiar with using that. All right. All right, guys. What's up? What's up? How's everybody doing today? What's up, callers? What's up, Mark? What's going on? What's going on? How y'all doing? Look, we're just getting the intro in. I figured I'd do that to put a little framing on the video when we start out just so we can let everybody know what we're doing for the day. And, um, you know, bring a little introduction to the video. But, yeah, guys, I'm doing well, man. Hope everybody's doing well. What's going on, Mark? What's going on, callers? How y'all doing? How you been? Everything good? Look, let me make sure my sound is good. Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? Let me know you can hear me. So I've been moving around. Uh, I've caught a lot of fish in this water hole right here. I've been catching fish right here. No, right here. I'm sorry. You pretty much, I feel like, can catch fish in a lot of these spots because there are deep areas on the map. But I'm just trying to experiment and find ones. I've probably used like 10 markers. I had to buy more markers. You see, I got 64 coins. I had about 90. I spent 17 on 33 more markers. And then I had to expand my inventory. That cost 20 as well. I have to do that a few times, so... As you grow your inventory and grow your bait, grow your tackle, you also end up needing more space. And then you have to figure out what you want to use your bait coins. But what I've bought with those expansions, I probably could have bought an advance for another lake. But that's cool. That's cool. Uh, the fam is doing well. The fam is doing well. Um, everybody's doing well, man. Great to see you guys. Hope y'all doing well also. How you been? How you been? Oh, all right, let me show you where I'm at real quick. So on the map, I am right here. Now, I've caught a lot of fish down here, so you can come in at any of these entry points. I came in at this entry point. Let me show you on the map real quick. Again, we're at Weeping Willow. Uh, Willow Lake. You come in Willow Lake, you can catch some here. Um, I also came in at Golden Lake, and you go to Golden Lake, or you can do Bridges Lake, but I think it's this it's this lake right here that has a lot of spots. So if we don't um, get a lot of hits here, because I'm still testing this one out, 
we'll go down here to this one because I had a lot of activity there. Now, the thing with some of these lakes is, and I'm also going to try right here since it's a little pocket, just to see if there's anything we can catch right here. And um, see if maybe some pika right here or some other fish that we can just snag. So I'm going to go ahead and throw my carp rod out. Let me turn my controller on. There we go. I caught a trophy out this way. This rod actually throws very far. It has like a very uh, long distance on it, a long range. So, bam. I'm going to throw that one right there by that marker. Then my other bottom rides, they don't have quite the distance. As that carp rod, it may be due to the weight. I could probably take the weight up a bit. So, yeah, I'm going to throw this one. I'm going to try to put it in between these markers and this marker. One other thing I'm doing is fishing for the whales, catfish. And for those you use large minnows, I'm fishing for those on my bottom rod. So we'll see what those do real quick. Let's see. So, yeah, using my third bottom ride, I got the large minnows. This one kind of gets right to the edge. It barely gets to the edge of the deep area on the map. I'll show y'all that real quick. Hey, what's up, Eric? What's going on? What's going on? Ghost, what's good? What's good? Hey. Hey, that's what's up, Mark. And look, thank you for helping. Thank you for helping to keep things, you know, uh, moving. Um... And, you know, so we can enjoy ourselves as we stream, man. So I really appreciate that. I holler at you on uh, Discord as well. All right. So I may change this ride and put the bait on it that will catch carp. But right now we just, um, I'm focusing two rides on carp and then one ride on catching catfish. And then I might put all three of them on carp. So I'll show you on the map. Once again, this is what I've caught so far. I caught a mirror carp right there. That's a trophy whales catfish. They're good money too when you do catch them and then a trophy mirror carp. Now down at this spot, I caught just a ton of them. I was just marking everything, just, just throwing markers all over the place. But we got carps. I caught a ghost carp, trophy mirror, trophy leather, trophy whales. That's a common trophy common. Yeah, they was like catching them all over the place. The one thing with these carp, you know, it's not constant. I was trying to decide as we sit here what is better, being at St. Croix or being here, because I did 30 days at St. Croix. And um, it's, it's close. It's close. St. Croix, you're going to have a lot more action. And St. Croix, you're also going to... um. A lot of those pikes get you the same thing as these carp do, but you don't wait as long. The The pikes seem to hit a lot more often. Okay, that's too uh, deep. We could probably catch a tench over here. I might switch this up from uh these large minnows because something's going to be in this pocket. But we'll see if anything is sitting here. And again, I may see if there are uh, any pike or anything sitting there as well. See if that's a pike pocket. <laughs> pike pocket. Ah, that's not what I was trying to do. Not what I was trying to do. There we go. I was trying to give a little bit of line. All right, all right. Let's see, you just joined in. That's what's up. That's what's up. Oh, I need to join in here. I don't know if any of y'all at Weeping Willows let me know. I can make a friend room and y'all can jump in with me. Mark, hey, yo, if you ever come to Slovenia, we can go fishing. Hey, that's what's up. Look, hopefully one day I will get out to, uh, you know, some some other countries, some other uh, continents. Yeah, I think that'll be great, man. Got to get on some of this fishing, some of this real life fishing. That's cool, Mark. And uh, tell your pops, tell your dad I said hello. 
Let's see, Eric, doing good, just chilling, love the strange. Appreciate that, Eric. Hey, appreciate that, man. Um, I'm really glad you guys do enjoy. You know, it, it keeps me uh, motivated and wanting to keep doing it, man, because I really enjoy it. I'm a fish anyway, you know, because I, I love this game, so I'm a fish. Sometimes I tell myself, because I'm a gamer, I play a lot, and, uh, you know, now that I have a more expanded family, it used to just be me. So I could just work, play whenever I felt like it, you know. Um, now I have to, you know, decide how I do my time with editing, with fishing. So streams have been helping me to be able to still play and um, still get content out and still connect uh, with everyone. So I was thinking, like, man, I might as well just stream everything I play because I play a few other games, but I don't stream them. You know, I just play them and either edit them or don't do anything with it. I just play a lot of 2K. I'm trying to decide if I want to do that. I made a 2K channel, a Charles Macro 2K channel. I haven't put any content on it, though, because I when I play that game, I dive into it, but I still play my other ones as well. So I'm trying to decide if I actually still want to do it or not. I might wait and not get it just so I can stay focused on Fishing Planet, uh, focus on the car mechanic. Uh, I'm still trying to get Green Hell going. Green Hell is so hard, man. I ain't played Green Hell, guys, because it is so hard. That game is difficult. Oh, that game is difficult. What's up, Skull Rush? Yo, what's good with you? What's good with you? Uh-oh. We might have to get some moderation going here, guys. Joe, what uh, what do you mean, man? <laughs> what do you mean? I am not understanding your question. But yeah, man, like I said, man, I appreciate everybody, how we do with the streams, man. We really enjoy everything. Uh, enjoy it. I really enjoy it. And again, I have to uh, potentially throw some of my other games on here that I play too. Because it's a lot of games. I play a lot of survival games. You know, some RPG style game. Survival simulators. So I might just stream them and see how everybody like them, you know? Y'all let me know. All right, let's see, let's see. <laughs> now, I know this is a little too close. So I don't know if I'm going to get anything at this distance or not, but we'll try. What, can y'all see me? Can y'all hear me? Let me know. Let me know. I'll make some adjustments. <clears throat> yeah, I'm testing this little pocket right here, man. I feel like something should be right here. All right, all right, all right. Let's see. I feel like we might get some pike over here. Ain't nothing right here, though. Again, if this spot doesn't do well, I'll move to the other spot. I'm trying to find all of these carp that's on our list right here. So, And if any of you guys have been here to Weeping Willow, let me know. I might have to switch it up, try a different crankbait. And that's the only thing, again, the carp uh, coming here has been cool, but the carp just aren't as active. They're a lot slower to react, you know. The pike, they bite quite a bit. But these carp, they're, again, unless I got to find some other spots. Maybe there are hotter, more active spots. But as of right now, I haven't really found where they just go back to back to back, except every now and then. Let's see. 
I don't really see a lot of people over here. So I'm going to try this other spot. We'll move to this other spot. I'll go ahead and reel these in. And we'll see what we can catch at this other area. <laughs> I'm gonna look. I'm OG status. I'm OG. St <laughs> That's what I like to say. I'm getting up there. I'm. I'm probably older than I look. <laughs> hey, but thanks, Mark. Man, appreciate you. Uh, like I say, appreciate you really, really helping out, man, and and uh, having my back and being part of you know the channel, the streams, and everything, man. Thank you. Oh, yeah, and look, I've been around a while, so I've experienced a lot, you know? So it, it takes more than little things to, you know, really rub me the wrong way or get me out of character. I, I've seen and been through a lot, way worse. So, you know, you try to take it with a grain of salt, and you know that stuff like that is out there, people like that are out there. But they're not going to stop what we doing, you know? We got something good here, so we're going to keep doing what we do, man. But again, I appreciate you, and, and again, that's why we got our community, so we can take care and make sure that we good. We don't be bothered by stuff like that, you know? But thank you. Keep doing what you're doing, man. Thank you. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, man. All right, let's see. We're going to move spots, guys. We're going to move spots. Uh, did I get my? Let me see. Okay, I got it. Cool, cool, cool. All right, hey, what's up, Sleep? How you doing? How you doing? Uh, my day is going pretty well, man. It's going pretty well. We're getting the stream started. And uh, we having a good time so far, man. Really just getting going. I'm about to head down here to this other location and just trying to catch some of these carp. I'm here at Weeping Willows. This is uh, like a level 50, I believe it unlocks. And um, I found some spots. I've, I was testing it out earlier. So I found a few good spots. but And I caught some trophies. I caught one unique. So just trying to replicate that. I'm going to try from over here because I was catching on the other side of this lake right here. So I'm going to try to find a closer spot uh, to my markers. Yeah, how's your day, man? Again, how's everybody doing, man? How y'all day been? It's Tuesday. Look, yesterday was a holiday here. So I had a little bit of relaxed time. Cooked out a bit. You know, saw some family. And it was pretty good. It was pretty good. Uh, let's see. You had to stop typing. Oh, okay. Okay. Hey, well, that's cool, man. Look. You know, hang out. You know, whenever you got to go, I understand, man. Like I said, we in different time zones. I be trying to get on early. Uh, it's earlier here, so it just depends on work. And um, I try to get on early, and then sometimes I have to do a later stream as well. And probably when things get back regular here anyway, because I still work from home a lot. I normally go in on Tuesdays and do video, and um, I come home and I, and I edit. But today, the scheduling got moved, so I actually got to go in tomorrow. And so that's, that's cool. It works out. So I was here doing some other stuff with like our social media, our website, and things of that nature. Uh, let me get this ride stand out. And I'm going to show you all on the map. So, again, this is where I'm at, this spot right here. You can come in here or here. And this little area, I caught a lot of fish. I was just throwing out, basically just throwing these deep zones and use your, you know, your different carp bait. Bollies, I'm using bollies. I'm using uh, peas. And it's probably the same for any of these. You just try to hit your deepest spots. 
Oh, you're not late. Look, we really just getting started. We only about 20 minutes in. So, nah, you good, sleep? Yeah, no worries, no worries. And I believe it was these here where I was catching the most trophies. This was a catfish spot right here. I caught a catfish right here. And then these were different carp. So we'll see if we can get us some more trophies. Uh, yeah, you do. Okay, hey, like I said, I understand. Yeah, I'm going to try to still do a later one. Um, I don't know the day due to the time. I might jump back on tomorrow as well, depending on how work goes. Wednesday, again, is a big, uh, is a busy day with work because I have to do a lot of editing. I have to do a lot of streaming, but I'm going to try to get most of the editing done. To Oh, no, I can't do it tonight because we're not recording. Normally, I would have recorded today. I can work on some of the editing tonight and then um, finish whatever I need to finish tomorrow. But because we're not recording today, it's going to kind of put me under the gun. So I got to go in tomorrow, record, and edit, and have it all ready to go out by tomorrow night. So, yeah, no. That's what I do, though. That, that's that's where you earn your pay. You don't earn your pay when everything going good. You earn your pay when, when you got some issues or things get chaotic. All right, let's see, let's see. Spooky, what's going on? What's going on, ghost? How goes it? How goes it? Hey. Hey, what's up, Kylan? What's going on? What's going on? Yo. Hey, what's up, TNR? You say the car mechanic Sam Viz was super helpful. Hey, good. Glad to hear that. Glad to hear that. Glad they helped. I actually got a couple more coming up. I've been making a lot of auction house money. So I'm gonna do a video on that. I had that coming out soon. But yeah, glad the videos helped, man. Appreciate you stopping through the stream. Appreciate you stopping through and hollering. Oh, all right, we getting a hit. We getting a hit. So, man, what games are y'all on? What games are y'all on? Oh, you playing uh, City Skylines? Hey, nice, man. I love City Skylines. That's um, I haven't played that in a long time. If that was something y'all wanted to see, I would play it, but. I never really put a lot of videos out for that. So, you know, I ain't never grow like no huge fan base with City Skylines. But yeah, I love City Skylines. You know, I came up playing Sim City and I had all the Sim Cities. But then once EA bought out the company that made Sim City, you know, EA, they kill games, they kill development studios, they just destroy them and fire everybody. And, you know, all they care about is money for the most part. You know, for the most part, they still make some okay games. I don't want to be totally. But we know they how that company is. That's that's another debate. We'll talk about that some other time. I might do some uh, streams or some some videos, man. Where we just talk, where we chat about game news and and game issues. But anyway, um, City Skyline was like where the Sims should be right now, where Sim City should be right now, man. So yeah, no, I, I love City Skylines. I built huge cities. I had that like when it first came out. And, you know, you build cities to the point where you can't even grow them anymore. And then I think you can buy other parts of land. It's been a while since I played it. But, yeah, City Skylines is what Sim City was supposed to, where they were supposed to progress to before EA, you know, kind of messed things up. Uh, let's see. Actually, fun fact, if you drive like 40, when it says 40, you would catch more green lights, but not 25. Uh, like, not 25, but 40. <laughs> okay. Thanks for that fun fact, Mark. Let's see. You're going to switch to No Man's Sky and try out the update. Ah, okay. I do got to try uh, No Man's Sky again, too. Again, it's hard to play everything, but I used to play a lot of Imperion. No Man's Sky is a game in that same vein. Um, it's very polished, though. But I didn't know they built where you can, um, you can actually build your own bases. Uh, Sleep was mentioning that. And I like that they built the, they really got their foundation down, the space travel, the exploration. Then they started expanding versus how some people try to do the right, the, they do it in the wrong way. And, and then 
they're not able to control the expansion of the game, you know, the development process doesn't go right, and then the game is broken. They did a good job. And um, the No Man's Sky devs, man, whether a lot of us like it or not, they were able to bounce back. Like, they, they, their launch was bad, but they were able to bounce back. And, you know, hey, it's a really good game now. Let's see. Yo, what's good? Just got out of school. First day. What's up, Dallas? What up? What up, man? Welcome to the stream. Hey, hope your first day went well. Hope your first day went well. Make sure you in there making them good grades. Making them good grades. Yeah, man. Look, how was it? How was it? First day pretty uh, usually isn't too strenuous or anything because getting in there, you're getting used to things. Most of the time, they don't dump too much work on you in the beginning. Typically. Typically. Let's see. In No Man's Sky... Uh, isn't every world you make auto-generated? Yes, yes. Uh, when No Man's Sky actually first released, the reason the game took a big hit at launch, like, they were tearing the game apart, was because they had touted that, like, the world, all the worlds were auto-generated. It was this auto-generated universe, and that you could, um, you would never go to the same planet and stuff like that. And it and it was multiplayer, so you should have been able to at some point cross paths with other players that or the same worlds and all of that. But it didn't work. They kind of oversold, and the, and the hype got so crazy for the game that they under delivered. So everybody was tearing them down, man. I don't even think they wanted the hype to get as big as it got, but it got so big that when they weren't able to deliver it, it was just like terrible. But they actually kept working on the game. They put their heads down. They they worked it out and the uh the I don't know if he was the developer but one of the main guys who was speaking for the game he said some really like jacked up stuff that people took offense to so anyway they've been able to clean the game up and really make a great game like one of the better space exploration survival type games that has come out and so yeah most of the worlds are uh, pretty much everything is quote unquote you know the worlds and all that auto generated it's a pretty good game. Let's see, y'all did paperwork like twice. Ah, <laughs> okay. Uh, play Warzone. I hadn't played Warzone, man. I would play, but I'd probably be trash if I try to play Warzone. Let's see. I would just be out there getting towed up, <laughs> getting uh, headshotted. Let's see. You. Uh, uh, it was just overwhelming once released because of all the hype. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. The hype really hurt them. Like, if the game hadn't have been so hyped, then people's disappointments wouldn't have been as, you know, as uh, severe. And therefore, you know, the backlash wouldn't have been as bad. But they got a lot of backlash. All right, we called us a mirror carp. It's our first one. It's our first one. Let me go back here. See what we do. Hey, what's up, uh, Kylan? Yeah, I'm going for a uh, carp right now. I'm going for carp. Really, any carp. Carp at this lake, they they make pretty good money. You know, why was my real speed so high? Yeah, carp at this lake are really good money. I'm going to show you all on the map real quick some of what I've caught. I caught a ton of carp here. I'm going after carp and trophy or whales, catfish. Of course, trophy unis, whatever. I caught a trophy whales right there, leather carp right there, common. Another trophy whales, trophy leather. They got that ghost, the uh, common. Let me come down. Ah, hey, when it does that, trophy common and a, another trophy common. Now, actually, this right here was the first lake that I tested. I just came in at like the base when they start you at. And I tested out here and actually caught a, oh, I didn't mark it. I caught a unique. Oh, no, it's right here. Hold on. Is it right there? Trophy leather. I'm trying to find this uni I caught. There it is. I caught a unique common caught right there. So we may walk over there as well because it's, it's a little water hole right over there, right next to where we're at. But this is where I caught the most fish, so trying to do that here. 
Let's see. Uh, Warzone is a sweat fest. <laughs> I hear you, Steve. What's going on with you? Uh, playing Fishing Planet. Just got Grasshopper uh, in the water. Then once you hear a bell, just reeling them in. Nice, nice. Let's see. Your phone is at two. Your phone is at two, Mark. I'm not sure exactly what my phone is at two means. You talking about the volume? Yeah. This Weeping Willows, again, I only have one carp ride. I'm using bottom rides. And I know that because carp are these deep feeding type of fish, probably if I was using some of that ground bait, they would bite quicker. Uh, but right now, I'm just fishing them and just trying to kind of make my money, save up a little bit. Then I start experimenting. I only got two slots in my uh, in my inventory. I want to try that. It's like a carp weight, like a leather weight thing. It's like a feeder that you put the ground bait on or something like that. Like, I ain't done a lot with ground bait. So that's something that I'm going to have to learn a little more thoroughly. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, man. Well, go charge your phone, man. It's cool. It's cool, man. You know, appreciate you being here, man. Whenever you can, come back through. If you got to shut it down for the night, man, I understand. Just have you a good day at school tomorrow. No worries. No worries. Yeah, no worries, man. It's all good. Yeah, I'm trying to see if there are any fish we can catch spinning. Let's see, Steve. You've been trying ground bait, haven't noticed much. Uh, you don't know, don't have the recipes. Okay. Oh, something just hit right there. Something just hit right there. Let me throw this out again. Unless it was just getting caught in the reed, something hit. Yeah. And that's what I figured. Like, maybe it'll be a difference. It says it's like a 10% increase and like a 15% increase when I was looking on the little ground bait mixer page. Um, that, that tab here in game when you pause. So, I mean, of course, 10, 15%. I mean, that does make a difference. But is it worth it? I don't know. I'm going to really have to test it out to see if you can tell or get a noticeable difference. All right, there we go. Now, that's a whales. That's the ride for the whales catfish. I already know. Carp do not hit. Ah, doggone it. Wrong ride. Wrong ride. Ah. There we go. Carp do not hit uh, this ride with the large minnows. It's only the whales. Now, this one, this one's kind of heavy. It could be a trophy. Most of the time when I get these, they're trophies. So we'll see. Let's see. Yep, another trophy, another trophy. Now, these trophy whales, they, they good money. They good money. 17 and for 35, that's actually not a bad money to weight ratio for catfish. You can catch some big catfish and you don't make no money off of them. So this is actually a pretty good money ratio. I don't know if they decided to increase it or make it a little better at some of these higher level lakes. Because some of the lower levels, when you catch catfish, man, like the money is trash. So yeah, that's pretty cool. We'll go back. Um, I believe it was this spot and I think this spot or that one. This is one of them. I'm going to go right here for now. See what we get. Let's see right there. And put this at one. Got to get my rise in a system. All right. Might try some top water. Look. Oh, I did get this X-Series bullet spinner. Let me try this. 
It did say these bullet spinners work out here. I'm going to try near the shoreline, see if we get anything. And then I'm going to just throw out in the middle, see if we get anything. But yeah, this bullet spinner. See if this does anything. This bullet spinner, I believe I got this from the 30 days at St. Croix. It was either St. Croix or what was the last spot I was at? I think it was St. Croix. Let me know in the comments if you know, guys, where this X-Series bullet spinner comes from. Because I also got an X-Series casting spoon. I'm sorry, medium spoon. X-Series medium spoon. We'll try over here. One might have been Quanchkin. Yeah, I've been trying to get my 30-day challenges done. I might stay here and do the 30-day challenge. I don't know. If, if I make enough money, man, if the money ain't looking good, I'm going to go ahead and leave and come back later. Oh. Something hit it. Go on and get it. Whatever it is, go on and get it. On and get it. Come on, right. I'm hoping that it's a pike, man. I gotta find like a pike spot because pike are at this lake too, if I am not mistaken. Let me cast one more time. Pike. It's, it's only a few fish. I think a drum is here. Only a few fish that uh, you can actually spin fish. The majority of them, you got to use your deeper, you know, your bottom rides, your carp rides. Hey, Hit, what's going on? What's going on? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. There we go. There we go. This should be another carp right here. It should be another carp. And just so you know, again, I invested in one carp ride because I had the money. The ride was like 70. The, the reel was like 30, 40 or something like that. Then you got to get all your other stuff. You can catch these with a uh, bottom ride. This is a 50-pound bottom ride. The carp ride was only like 57 pounds, so it wasn't that much difference. And you can use peas. I've been mainly using sweet peas. I might switch it up to corn, see if corn does better. But uh, the peas have been working uh, pretty well. Pass the peas like you used to do. Ah, Weeping Willow Junker, nice. Need those bait coins. Let me see what this mission is real quick for the uh, for the monster. Oh, okay, it's just catching uniques of every type, basically. And let me look at the fish species. Oh, chub, that's what it is. Chub are pretty small. Narrow spoon spinners. Okay, not bullet spinners, but nano spinners. Spinners, nano spinners, okay. For that perch. Spinner bait, casting spoon, jerk baits, poppers, minnows. So, like pike, casting spoons, spinner baits, shag, crank baits. I'm trying crank baits right now. Mm -hmm. Spinner baits, casting spoons, spinner baits. I don't think these say spinner baits, though. They got spinners, but not spinner bait. Spinners, but not spinner bait. Dog on it. Oh, guys, hit that like button for me. Hit that like button. If you here, you stopping through, you want to support, hit that like button for me, guys. All right. 
You know it helps feed that YouTube algorithm. Y'all know how the YouTube algorithm is. I appreciate you. Fiber, what's going on? What's going on? Hey, shout out to South Africa. How you doing? The SA, the SA. Shout out. Shout out from the States. Let's see, Fiber. Do you think it's a good idea to head over to Florida for money? Uh, more money after walleye. Um, it really depends. The the main thing I would say. Uh, I put up a lot of my spinners. My smaller spinners, I put them up. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That's all right. I try this. Uh, I only got six. Right. Eh, that's all right. We're gonna have to roll with it. We're going to have to roll with it and see what we get. It's not going to cash that far. Okay. If you're going to Florida, if you just hit the level, like typically don't go to a lake as soon as you unlock it. Because unless you, you know, got a DLC um, or something that has some rides in it with heavier weights, your gear isn't going to be ready. Now, if you got a pack or something and you got gear that's, we'll say at least 30, 20, 30 pounds, You'll be all right going to the Everglades, or if you've upgraded to that point. Um, I don't know what level you're at. But if you just hit the level to go to the Everglades, you'll be able to fish bass. But the bass, you know, they only get so big. Bass, peacock bass, stuff like that are the best fish to get or to fish. You'll catch a ton of them, you'll make money, but you're going to have to catch a lot of them to make your money back because it's an expensive uh, place. It's an expensive trip. You'll want to go after tarpon, snooks, and it's one more. It might be drum. Those will make the better money where you'll make your money back quicker. They got an alligator guard too. But, yeah, if your gear isn't ready, you basically going to go there and go broke and then have to go back to Emerald Lake. But it is a good lake as long as you have the right gear. 12-pound bass at Everglades. Okay, Steve said it's 12-pound bass. Now, that's pretty good. You catch 12-pound bass, you know, that's very good money ratio right there. I'm going to figure those are like at least trophies, maybe unis. You won't average that. But, yeah, you can make some good money off bass, especially once you find your spots. But uh, they're not the biggest fish, though. I would say Falcon's still a good look. You can make some good money at a Falcon on the Trout if you're bored with Emerald. Rocky, you know, they're going to be smaller, but you can make some okay money there. Naharan, eh, I don't know if I miss with Naharan. Not if you're trying to get money. Uh, let's see. If you can go to White Moose, White Moose is another good spot as well. Yeah, these carper, ugh. We leaving out the peak time. I think I'm going to go to the night time, see if we can get some better luck at night. Oh, there we go. Something hitting. Something hitting. All right, this is the whale's catfish. So I'm going to reel this one in. And I'm, I think I'm going to go try that spot where I caught that unique. We'll see how that uni does. All right. Another whales. Let's see. You love uh, bass fishing, saving up for the equipment and bigger net. Currently, you have uh, 110 and you love another. Oh, okay. All right. Well, yeah, you would be okay. Again, um, you should have, I would assume you got at least a 20 or 30 uh, pound setup. Uh, you would need it to be spinner, but you don't need that much for those bass. Like you said, they get the 12 pounds. So if you got like a 20 pound spinner and you just, just target bass, you'll be fine in the Everglades. And if you're going to stay there for a while, you know, maybe do your week or so there, you'll make your money back. Yeah, you'll make your money back. Let's see. If you ever have dry ice, try carbonate like grapes, oranges, and watermelon. So good. Ah, okay. Have to try that out.
All right, I'm going to run to this other spot that's over here. No. I'm going to show you on the map. Okay, yeah, it's this direction. It's another uh, hole, and I'm going to see if we catch anything. And then we'll fast forward to the nighttime, see what we do. And then I'm going to decide if I want to stay here. Now, this is my second day. My first day, I did make like 30K. So, I mean, you can make some all right money, but it's just very slow. It's, it's just waiting, doing a lot of waiting on these carp. They don't bite frequently, so. Okay, it's this way. Um, is this it? Oh, okay, yeah, here we go. Same lake, just a different spot. If I could have reached this, I'd have probably just threw it from where I was at, but that's cool. You know what? I might be able to stand over there, and I can throw to both spots. I'm going to see that I catch a whales right here. Nah, it's carp. It's carp. And then I got a uni. That's that uni coming. All right, we're going to fish right here. I'm going to throw these back out. We're going to see if we can catch this uni real quick. Hey, Rodrigo, what's going on? What's going on? How goes it? How goes it? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Uh, let's see. It's quite difficult without premium. Yeah, yeah, I'm seeing that. Like, I had a premium for a little while. I did the Amazon. And you do get spoiled with that premium. It's a lot more grinding without premium. I was at St. Croix, and I caught a ton of pike. But I didn't have premium. So, of course, you know, I, I made a lot of money. I made a couple hundred thousand, but I probably would have made, you know, almost double that. So, yeah, it's a big difference. You You definitely feel it. Uh, they definitely encourage you to get premium, you know? They know how to govern it where you just getting enough if you grinding and putting a lot of time in. But with premium, you do not have to grind as much. And I mean, premium probably ain't a bad investment. That's something we could probably discuss one day, but if you think about it, if you play a lot of games and you buy different games, like how many games do you buy a year? You know, if you buy multiple games a year, I'm going to throw here just to see if we get a whale's catfish on this line. And then I'm going to change it up and we'll just go all carp. That way I had three rides carping it. But I think premium for a year is like 60 bucks or something like that. If you think you bought a game a year, the average game is 60. Not on the new, the next gen consoles coming out, they'll be 70. On Steam, they don't cost as much. You know, they might be 20, 30, but a brand new game, if you pay uh, 50, 60 bucks for a brand new game and you get a year of premium, it's just like buying one game. They do got to pay to keep these servers up. So, you know, it's not necessarily a bad investment, but let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. What y'all think about premium? You think it is worth it? Do you think it is a good investment if you play this game? Let me know what you think. I might do a poll as well. Um, I might do a poll on the YouTube channel. See what everybody think. Let's see. Uh, when you get it, if you place it in your car, roll your windows down because you would die. <laughs> Uh, let's see, Steve, you use your 20-pound line for the bass with a frog. You do very well at peak times in the Everglades. Okay, nice, nice. <laughs> All right, Mark, we got to remember that. Let's see, Gulp, what's up, Gulp? What's going on? What's going on? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Let's see if we can catch something with this spinner. Everything is more expensive in SA. It'd be like a hundred dollars. Oh man. Yeah, now that kind of stinks. 
<laughs> Mark, you say you're not joking. It's true. I believe you, man. I believe you. <laughs> Go. Appreciate that, Go. Man, I hope you did well in school today. Hope everything was good. Yeah, I haven't caught anything besides um, carp yet. I'm thinking I'm going to have to fast forward to the night. Again, it's a very long... I don't know. You got to be very patient fishing here at Weeping Willows. I have made my money back, so I mean, it wouldn't be a big deal to leave, but I'm trying to maximize uh, what I get. And I would have to catch a uni of every type, which means I would probably have to change my, uh, you know, change my bait. In fact, let me do that. I'm going to put, and you know what? I'm going to try corn. We're going to move, but I'm going to go ahead and put sweet corn on here. Okay, something hitting. Keep going, keep going. Uh, let's see, do I got sweet corn in here? Uh-oh. I got regular corn. Don't have my sweet corn. Let's see. Saying hi for a moment so you can come back finishing school. Okay, that's what's up, Wolf. How you doing, man? Yeah, man, take care of your studies. I understand. I understand. No worries. Uh, what do I think about carp fishing? Ah, uh, man, it was biting. I should have left it, but I ain't feel like waiting. I got impatient. Woof. Let's see. With wet bait. Ah, the fish still going after it. I might should leave this alone. Let's see. Well, what bait or lure to catch sauger at Emerald? Last fish you need for a mission. Uh, the sauger is the same thing as the um the same bait or lure you would use to catch walleye. They're basically walleye. They're just a little different. They're like brothers or cousins. You the thing you gotta do is get further over on you know, Emerald Lake. If you get in the kayak and swim straight out. To the left, it's a pocket over there. In that pocket is where the sauger sit. It's this big rock you can see. If you throw pretty much at that rock or in that pocket, you'll catch sauger and just do the same technique. Sometimes you'll catch a random sauger every now and then. When you throw really far out there, you'll catch one every now and then. But for the most part, yeah, you're just going to have to uh, jump in the kayak and, and uh, paddle over there. Uh, carp fishing. I mean, it's it's cool. I like carp fishing. I think I probably like it better in real life. It's cool on the game, but again, it's like you're not making. You know what? You make good money. It's just so slow. It's very slow. I think that's the the biggest deal. It's very slow. If not for that, if the frequency was higher, then yeah, I think this would be it. Cause then you usually get a good fight. The carp are pretty big. You know, they heavy. They lunkers. All right. This will reach over here. So I'm going to throw this one way over here and see if we can catch this uni. This is the spot I call a uni. All right. It went to the right a bit. That's cool. I'm going to put that in slot one. Uh, Let's see. Steve, have uh, you tried octopus hooks for the carp? Huh? -uh, I haven't. You think catfish? Oh, catfish hooks can scare them. Ah, okay. Octopus hooks. I don't see that they got that in the shop. Cause you know, like I tried to use carp carp hooks on my ride, but it wouldn't let me. I guess the game knows, and it gotta be a carp ride. I figured the reel and the line would wouldn't make a difference. So, uh, let's see hooks. Yeah, they only got the carp hooks right now. 
I look for those though. When I get out of here, I try uh, some different hooks. You say octopus hooks, octopus hook. Okay, I gotta remember that. Try out the octopus hooks. Let me see what hooks I have on here now. Okay. So these are the catfish hooks. So pretty much just right. Ah, okay, okay, the regular hooks. I got you. I got you. Um, I only have a two eye. I don't have a big one. All my larger ones are catfish hooks. I've caught some with these catfish hooks, but I'll try it. I'm gonna go ahead and try a different size. We'll go with this two then. And I'll use the two. They didn't really have any other ones in the shop. Yeah, only a four. Yeah, when I leave, though, I'll make sure to note that, and I'll make sure I bring some of those with me. Number two. All right, we'll try these out, see, see if it help our frequency. I got corn on here. Uh, where was I getting my trophies? My trophies I was hitting about here. Bam. Let's see, seven, six. And I got sweet peas on this one, so yeah. We'll see. Um, hopefully these hooks will make a, a nice difference. All right, go ahead and take it. Is that it? They like to tease a lot, but this is a hit finally. This is a good hit. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, thanks, Steve. And hopefully this will get us more activity. And I'll make sure I get some, uh, I probably have some larger octopus hooks that I took out of the uh, of my backpack. But when I leave, I'll make sure to go to the store and see what's the larger size they have. See if I can get some uh, sixes, some four sixes or some eights. This is going to be a trophy. This one's going to be a trophy. If he starts to run at all, he might be a uni. He's coming in, but it's very slowly. Hey, call us. Um, I hadn't caught any big ones. I caught a trophy. I think what was that? A trophy catfish. No big carp yet, but this is, I think, will be my first big carp one. This is definitely a trophy. The way he's swimming around, kind of just doing what he want. He don't even care that I'm reeling him in. He either gonna be a trophy or uh, he could be a uni, but I'm gonna say trophy, just cause he ain't taking the line. But yeah, he heavy. He's heavy. He just, he just got my line. He acting like I ain't even here. He like, yeah, man, you know, what's going on, man? Yeah, we, we just having a good time today, man, just kicking it. Just walking around the park here, man. I'm just swimming around. No hook in my mouth. Just swimming around. He might be a uni the way he acting. He real nonchalant. Come on. Come on. Yeah, this fish just does not care that I'm even reeling him in. Ooh, we got the uni ghost. We got the uni ghost. Look at this uni ghost. 3,000. 2,000. Now, that's what you want. If we could get this consistently, yo. Yo, let me screenshot that. Yo, yo, yo. I got I to gotta mark that on the map. I got to mark that on the map. Yeah, I know it's going off, but we got to mark that. Nice. All right, all right, all right. Let's get this one. I got to get my cart ride back out there, but I'll do that after we reel this jammy in. Oh, and the corn. And it's that corn. This is the first carp I caught on corn. That's what's up, Steve. Look, we done caught one already. Changing that hook helped. I, I did catch a few with the catfish hook. 
but um, it wasn't frequent. It wasn't frequent, so they must have been scared. Nice. Got another leather carp with that coin. With that corn. Jimmy cracked corn. Okay, that's the trophy wells. That's the leather carp. That's the common carp. I'm trying to see where we caught this uni uh, ghost. That's the ghost. Where we catch that uni ghost? Was it over here? Trophy leather. That's the unique common. Leather. Okay, the unique ghost. All right, all right, all right. We caught the unique ghost over there. So we're going to throw this one back. Eh, I might I might go ahead and throw a few more over this way. I've caught two uniques over in this spot, guys. So, yeah, when I do do a video on this, this is where the spot going to be. Y'all getting to see it exclusive. I'm going to throw corn over there see if it does anything. And bring out my carp ride. We're going to throw the carp ride over here. Back to the well. Back to the well. I actually got some other, uh, I got this fish meal pop-up bollies. I got one other type. So I can try that one out too. Maybe it'll attract a different one. I don't know. We will see. We shall see. We shall see. Mark, so you got to go. All right, take it easy, Mark. Have a good one, man. Have a good one. Talk with you later. Get you some rest. Do good in school. And see you at the next stream, man, or if you pop through the Discord. We'll talk with you later, man. Uh-oh. This one activated pretty quickly. This one activated pretty quickly. Let's see. Maybe better to catch Sauger at night because now zero hooks. Yes, yes, yes. You you will catch Sauger more at night. Really, walleye too. You can catch walleye now during the day. I always tell everybody. But back in the day, well... Before they did some updates, you could not even catch walleye during the day. Or I wasn't using the right lure. I put it like that. I wasn't using the right thing. I could catch them all night, though. You'd do 11, 12K at night. All right, another ghost. Nice, nice, nice. That's another ghost spot. Let's see what we're getting on this corn. See what we getting on this corn. Sleep. What's up, sleep? Um, you only missed, I caught a unique ghost cart. A unique ghost cart. And actually, if I get all the uniques, that's the uh, what you need to get the bait for the monster. Uh, but other than that, I moved around, been trying a couple different spots. Now we getting a little more activity. Now we getting a little more activity. I actually made some hook changes too. Steve suggested changing from uh from the catfish hooks, which can scare the carp to the to the octopus hooks. And that has been helping as well. Yeah, it's like they done activated. Keep going over here. Go back to the well. Go back to the well. Well, well, well. But other than that, you know, figuring out the carp, I've been able to catch a few different carp, but I still haven't figured out how to catch the other fish that are here, like pike, tench. So those would be some good ones as well to catch. I figured that out, though. I, I do some research and figure it out. Let's see, is the ride stand with the beepers DLC? No. Um, you could get it earlier with bait coins, but no, the first ride with the beeps that you can get is a three ride stand, but you can't get it to like level 45. It's just a very high level one. If you need just something audible to help you catch so you can look away or do something else, you're going to have to use feeders. That's one of the good things about feeders. You know, you got the bell on there, uh, but the ride stand works with match rides too. So it makes match rides act like feeders. You also, if you go into settings, there's a setting where you can make a bell ding on your match rod. 
So if you throw out a match ride, hold, but you got to hold it in your hand. That's the only thing. You keep it held in your hand and it'll ding when a fish bites. So that helps too with match rides. All right, come on, man. Y'all, y'all lighten up. Do some. I've tried match rides here, but nothing has really worked. But you know what? I'm going to change that hook, see if that makes a difference. Because I was still using those catfish. I'm going to try this number two. And I was actually going after catfish. That's why I left it on there instead of the octopus, because I was going after the whale's catfish, but I wasn't catching anything. But we'll try that again. I'll put sweet corn back on here. We'll see if uh, if we get any activity. Oh, something beeped him. Is that for real? All right, it's for real. It's for real. It's for real. Let's go. This corn doing good business. Let's see. Yes, Emerald Lake mission's complete. Not in the hair. Nice, nice. Congrats, hit. Nice. Go up. You say you studying and doing your homework while watching, man. Look, we we'll appreciate you being here. Appreciate you being here. And do well with your studies. Do well with your studies. Oh, okay. Got a grass carp. Nice, nice, nice. I think I got to mark that. I don't think I've caught a grass carp yet. I think that's my first one. Oh, it's right there all in the mix. It's a lot, a lot of them right there. Oh, in the mix. Let me see. I'm going to go to the right a little bit. To the right, just a little bit of these markers. Jonathan, you say you killed your first bobcat and call it a wild. Nice. Congrats. Congrats. I still only got taken out deer. I haven't taken out any buffalo or like any of the other. Uh, what is it? Is it a bison or a buffalo? Whichever one it is in there. I haven't taken out anything else other than uh, deer and bucks. Congrats on that. Let's see. It's a lot more relaxing, fun to play while listening to the stream. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. I feel you on that. Oh, I changed it on the wrong. This is actually my weaker ride. This one is 40. It's 40 something. It's not the 50 something, but we'll try it anyway. I meant to use the other ride, so. I'm going to go down to 100. And we'll toss it right here, see if it does anything. You haven't had much luck with match. But who knows? Who knows? Not even with the catfish. I figured I would have caught some catfish with that match ride at least. All right, what are we doing? What are we doing? Are you really going off? See, they playing. Uh, okay, I meant to use this ride. I'm going to change this hook real quick. Go with this number two. And I'm going to... I'm going to put corn on this one as well. Take it deep. 115. Let's see if it'll reach. I won't reach all the way over there. It will reach over here, so we'll see if we can get anything. Then I'll go back and equip it for the catfish, because right now it's not doing anything. Let's see, Fire Windu, I live stream. Um, I mainly live stream on Tuesdays, uh, Tuesdays, uh, Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Those are the scheduled days, but then sometimes I jump in. If I if I got like my work done, I ain't doing nothing, or you know, I be wanting to just get on the stream because I still I'm still gonna play, and I'm usually grinding off camera. Um, then I will sometimes stream on like Friday and Saturday or the in-between days. Right now, just cause my work schedule is, um, I'm still doing some working from home. So sometimes I can stream a little earlier. So I just don't have like a time schedule yet. Ah, oh, dog on it. They both going off. They both going off. Yeah. Don't have a 
like a set in stone time. Probably once we go back regular though, I will probably be streaming later. I'm on Eastern Standard Time in the States, so like eight, nine o'clock at, at night, just cause of work and uh and the family. But right now, sometimes I stream during the day like now. This is like earlier in the day for me. Ah, doggone it. Just trying to get both of those. Let's see. You killed a bison and a buffalo. Nice, nice. Yeah, I try to just jump in the stream whenever I can. Yeah, that's nice on the bison and the buffalo. But hey, make sure you subscribe. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and you know, you'll get the notification, except for when YouTube tripping or uh, when I stream. So yeah, just hit that noty bell. Um, if you mess with Discord, you can come through the Discord. Um, uh, sometimes I let them know in there when I do. A lot of times I just jump on the stream, but Again, once life kind of regulates a little bit and my schedule is just consistent, like even at work, then I I might put a time to it. This game made you leave Call of the Wild. <laughs> hey, that's crazy. Man, this is a really good game. I, I, I enjoy Fish and Planet. You know, I like Call of the Wild too, but... Call of the Wild, again, you can go around hunting unless you really skilled or you really got your perks up. You know, all your perks, your skills. You walk around a lot and sneak around a lot and you don't get to shoot anything. That'd be one of the only caveats. Oh, hold on, guys. I got to check one thing, one thing I forgot about. Doggone it, I forgot to check this thing thing. All right, had to change the setting. All right, we got a hit. We got a hit. This that fish coming back. Did it come back? Let's see. When you have more time, you will play Fishing Planet. You stacking money from geese. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, look, I know. I don't know how to spell it either. And I thought about trying geese. I figured my aim wouldn't be good enough, though. They need, like, some VR or something where you can be like, bang. But yeah, I thought about trying geese. Let me toss over here and see what I can get in this little hot spot area. The corn and the uh oh, I'm missing a rod. Corn and peas. Uh let's see. I put it in the wrong spot. Dog on it. That's all right. Let's see if we can get another uni here. Let's see if we can get another uni. This one a little heavy. This one's a little heavy. He might be a, a trophy. Yeah, yeah. He got a little weight to him. He might be at least a trophy. Come on in. Come on in. Geese are one of the best ways. All right, yeah, I'm going to have to try that and, and target them. Because, yeah, hunting game can be a little finicky. Again, at least till you get a lot of your skills and your perks up. What is this? It's another ghost carp. Nice. A trophy ghost. Nice, nice, nice. We caught a uni ghost. Now we got us another trophy to go with it. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, I said I was going to move over a bit. I forgot. I want to get some markers. Ah, I hit the button too late. I want to get some marker spots moving over just so I can kind of find all the other best areas in these deep zones. Uh, let's see you out. Have a good one. All right, Fiber, take it easy. Look, appreciate you stopping through. Have a good one. Have a good one. Enjoy the rest of your week. And look out Thursday. Look out Thursday. All right. All right. We got another one. We got another hit. 
I got to get my other feeder out. My other feeder it put it away when I had to reel in this catch. Got to get that bag out. Uh, let's see, but you got to buy the Goose Chase DLC. Okay, what do you get with the Goose Chase DLC? I got you. Turn those noties on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Got a little mirror cart. Let me get my other ride. Got that corn on this one. Hey, what's up, Hunter? Appreciate that subscription. You are elite. How it goes it? How it goes it with you? Oh, come on, man. Okay. Now, I threw it a little to the right of these markers, so... Oh, that one went way right. All right, let's see what we got here. Is it another is it another uni? It's at least a trophy. Man, I just cashed that one. Was that the one I just cashed? Oh yeah, this one is heavy. This one is heavy as well. Come on, man. Come on. This might be another unique. It's at least a trophy. I want to try to juggle, but I'm not sure how these carp do when you try to juggle them. How fast they get off the line. Yeah, this one much smaller. All right. The much smaller one I'm going to take the risk on. And try to get them both in. Try to get them both in. Come on. Okay, that other one gone. All right, we ain't going to worry about him. He's a little guy anyway. We ain't going to worry about him. This the money fish right here. Look like it could be a, another a grass or maybe a mirror. A grass or a ghost. Might be our first trophy grass. Trophy common, okay. Okay, not bad, not bad. I'm going to go ahead and mark that real quick. I'm using up all these markers I just got. All right, all right. We coming, we coming. I want to get this carp ride back out, but we're going to catch this one first. Joe, what's going on, Joe? Let's see. Uh, you get some shotguns, uh, the caller decoys and some other stuff uh don't know it all watch some youtube vids uh, to help out okay and i have seen them decoys those decoys help them um really help you Let's see is this a grass another comment those decoys do make a big difference with your uh with your file as you're hunting the file so yeah that's pretty cool i'll check it out I will check it out. Let's see the goose chase. Goose chase. I got to remember that. The goose chase DLC. The goose chase. Goose chase. Goose chase. Oh, you know what? This has been working well. Let me uh, let me use this worm pop-up bolish. Let's see if we get anything different. Any other activities on this one. I'm going to throw over here. And then I'm going to throw back to our spots on the right. Just to see uh, what we get. And if I can earn enough money, again, I was going back and forth with myself today about getting, um, either getting some bait coins or getting premium. Because, you know, I got to stay on top of things so I can, I can say, just deliver y'all some good, some good stuff, some good content. But, um, I need to get another cart ride. But it was very, again, it was over 100K that I spent. I had about four, and now I'm at like three. 
It was I had four and some change. No, I had about five. After repairing my gear, buying the carp ride, yeah, it put me about three fifty because I was right near five. So I was like, if I buy another one, that's gonna put me at about a hundred. I like the bank account looking nice, but you know, I might have to go in and buy a second ride. That way I can use these, you know, these bollies and um this different type of lure and bait. But we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, these like match rides aren't doing anything. I don't know if it's just that they're not deep enough or if the fish, the carp are spooked by the uh by the bobber. I, I don't know, but they don't do anything. And again, they weren't really doing anything even with the uh when I was targeting the catfish. They still weren't doing anything, so I don't know. I'm going to throw this hook back on here. I'm going to put a six. I was catching the whales with the eight, but I'm going to put a six on here. And we'll go back to the large minnows. And I'm going to just see if we can get a catfish. This is a catfish spot right here. You really can catch them about anywhere that you catch the carp, but I caught one specifically right there. So we'll see. Uh, let's see. It might be the leader on your match rise. Maybe put catfish bait on the match. Okay. Now, minnows usually work well with the catfish. So I'm trying these large minnows, but do you got another type of bait that you suggest for the catfish? And are you saying I need to remove my leader, like take the leader completely off if I'm going for uh, the catfish? And it's moving. Like I see the bobber moving. It's going back and forth like a fish is tugging at it. It's not just floating in one direction, you know, like it's a current. This lake is pretty still. See, look at it. It's going back and forth, but they're not taking it. Yeah, I don't know, Steve. But I will remove the uh I remove the leader if that'll help. Up, oh, up, oh, we got a hit. Now, if you heard that ding, uh my guy might have already left. If you still here. If you turn that setting on in settings, you can hear this ding with match rise, but it got to be in your hand. You can't put it on the stand. I think he was asking about the beeping of uh, rise stands. See a ding, but they ain't doing nothing with it. Go ahead and take it. Stop playing with it, catfish. Stop playing with it, catfish. Hey, what's up, KB? Uh, whales like large minnows. Okay. Yeah, what's up, KB? I am at Weeping Willow right now. I'm putting some extra slack on here so I can make this change, and hopefully it won't scare that fish away. Yeah, I am at Weeping Willow. Fishing for these carp, and I'm throwing some whales catfish in there too. Oh, this thing charging or something. It's charging right at me. It's still not very big either. All right, little grass carp. I'm going to come over this way a little more. It says that there are deep sections that are like 16 uh, feet, but I haven't found one yet. They all have stopped at about 13 max. 16 to 18, I believe. But yeah, they, they all stop at about 13. They also like mole, cricket, larva, duck, mussel, meat, the whales. Okay. I will try that out also.
it tightened the line back. Crusty Carp and Musty Musky. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> uh, let's see. The DLC is the Wild Goose Chase. Okay, yeah, I looked that up. I looked that up. I'll check it out. Yeah, guys. Uh, let me pull this one in. I'm going to pull this one in. I'm going to check the inventory. Just see what we caught so far. We at 255. Let's see what it's looking like. Okay, 13K for 308. Not bad. We caught a unique ghost that's worth 3,000. That's good. Trophy whale, 17. Trophy common, 16. Trophy ghost, 16. I mean, those really aren't bad. Again, I just wish the frequency was higher, but it really aren't bad. Uh, 800 for the ghost. The ghosts actually aren't bad money, even per pound, too. 12 for 800. Actually, not bad versus 11 for 400. With these mirrors. Oh, that was a whale's. 10 for 600. Okay. And yeah, it's not bad money. Just take some time. It's a little pricey to get here, but again, with as long as you can catch these carp, uh, you'll make some money. Now you see this one going. It's like the catfish are playing with it. Go ahead and take it. Yeah, I'm trying to give him a chance. He is not. He is not uh, attacking that bait. That's what's up. That's what's up, guys. Trying to see anything else. So I'm going to figure out where some of these are to do the mission. I might stay here and come back in the next stream and continue to work on these. I don't know. I'm going to think about it. I may leave. I did complete. Which one did I complete today? I did complete another one of these collecting. Oh, it's for catfish. When I caught that whale's catfish, I got a trophy for this one. The catfish, 13, four bait coins. So that's another good one. I've done gar, salmon, pike, shells, and creatures. But yeah, while we're here, we might do the monster. And we'll see about the exploration. Yeah, the weeping willow. So, yeah, man. But let me know it. Let me know what you think. Do y'all like this lake? If you've been here, do you like weeping willows? Do you feel like it's good money? What do you think is better, Saint Croix or weeping willows? That's that's my biggest comparison right now. Even San Joe Quinn, because uh, Saint Croix is good, consistent money with those pikes. Do you think these weeping willows uh, and the carp are worth it uh, for what you pay and for what you'll need to bring these carp in? Uh, which bobber? This bobber right here is the X series glowing pear shape. I won an X series uh, bobber. Yeah, this one is just glowing pear shaped, but this one is an X series glowing pear shaped. I got a trophy pair of shape. I think I won this one too. But all right, all right, all right. All right, guys. So, yeah, man, I think uh, we've seen a lot of what we'll catch. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay, Steve, let me ask you this before I wrap it up. What difference do the different bobbers make? Is it just cosmetic? Or do they actually make a difference with the fish you catch? I've been wondering. Like I said, is it cosmetic or do they make a real difference? Um, I got that bobber at one of the earlier lakes. I did the 30 days. It was either at Lone Star or... Hold on. Let me look. Let me, let me make sure. I don't want to give you the wrong information. It might be a mission. It might be one of these missions. Hold on. Uh, Gar Hunt. Okay, Gar Hunt, I got this trophy pair. Kanik. Let 
let me check, let me check. Oh, I forgot I had this feeder food. I might actually have to find that and use it. Oh, now these are all monsters, so that wouldn't be it. Okay, yeah, I think I got it doing one of the 30 days. I, I got to look and double check. Uh, check back with me, but I think it was one of the 30 days with one of like the lower level lakes. Because I've only done the 30 days at so many of them, like Kanik. Did I do White Moose? I did St. Croix. I did um, Quanchkin. I don't think I did San Joe Quan. I'm, I got to make a, a sheet, a database, so I can remember which all the ones I went to. Because you'll go there, do your 30 days, and it's hard trying to remember. But I think it was one of the 30-day challenges. I'll find out for sure, though. Uh, let's see. It's not just the money you make. It's how long it takes you to catch the fish to make the money. Okay. Okay, mainly cosmetic. Yeah, I'll find out for sure, Steve. Check back with me. I'll find out uh, where I got it from. But it's an X series, so... Yeah, it was either it was definitely some mission. It was either a mission or it was the thirty day somewhere that got me this bobber. X series glowing pear shape. X series glowing pear shape. Hold on, I'm gonna find out. X series glowing pear shape. I'm gonna find out real quick. I'm trying to find out where I won this doggone X series glowing pear shape. All right, yeah, I am not seeing it. Like I was trying to look it up, but again, I find out. I'll find out. We'll figure that out on the later on. Let's see. Not just the money. It's how long it takes you to catch the fish. Well, again, it takes a while. Like, even though I made some money earlier when I was testing this lake out, I was here for, sitting there for quite a while. I was just working. So I was able to wait on the feeder to ring. And, you know, then I jump over there, reel the fish in. St. Croix seems to catch a lot more fish more actively than when you sit here. But I have caught a few trophies. I will say that I've caught a lot of trophies. I picked up the wrong one. Trying to work my hotkeys. So, motorcycle, what lakes do you think are the best ones? For earning money as you start to get up to these higher levels. Is Weeping Willow uh, better than, say, a St. Croix or a San Joaquin? Or even Kanik, because I, I like Kanik, too, with those salmon. Ah, uh, this a little carp. Yeah, I'm going to have to get me some bigger hooks. Oh, this one that went off. No wonder I haven't been getting no bites on this ride. This the one that we had got hooked, but we had two fish on the line, and then he got off the line. I'm going to throw this over here let it sit. But yeah, guys. All right, all right, all right. So what we'll do again, Thursday will be the next stream for show. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. I'm taking a look at Weeping Willows, and I'm going to see. I'm going to fish it for a little while longer, you know, over the next day. I'll probably stay here tomorrow as well and just see how the money looks, see if I can get up to, like, 400000 If I can make a good 100 k and it doesn't take too long, you know, then I can give a good assessment of the lake and compare it to some of the other lakes that we've been to, guys, all right? So, I appreciate y'all being here. Uh, hit that like button if you're here. Hit that like button on your way out. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Share this. Follow. Do all that good stuff. Ah, uh, man. Sorry to hear that. Sorry to hear that. That stinks if you say it got corrupted. 
Yeah, sorry to hear that, man. Hey, you can start over and you can do it better. I'm sure you'll level up even quicker now that you, you know, know the game and you got way more experience. But yeah, um, I may do a later on tonight, which will be about five hours, five, six hours from now. It'll be like nine, ten o'clock Eastern Standard Time. But I don't know for sure. I don't know for sure. So just check back, look out for that notification, and we'll do it again. But definitely Thursday we'll be back on, guys. So you can hit me in that comment box, like, subscribe, share, do all that good stuff, feed that algorithm, and we'll be back with the next ring. All right. Charles Macro Fishing Planet. Salute to my elite fam. Thank y'all all for being here. I'm going to holler at y'all later, all right?